What is going on everyone? My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy X International version Let's Play. In the last episode, we arrived to Riku's home, rather the Elbed's home, and we discovered that the home is under attack by Yevon and the Guado. Now, the Guado are after Yuna, who is sitting in the Summoner Sanctum, and hopefully Yuna's all, all right and the Guado haven't harmed her in any way. Now, in the last episode, I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger about myself, rather, and... I want to fill you guys in on the medication I'm on. The medication I'm on is called kleptomycin, and that kills all the good and bad bacteria in my body. Now, my family is mostly allergic to it. However, I am not, but it does not agree with my stomach very well, so I might pause the game and run so I could uh, maybe throw up or uh, uh, shit <laughs> because it, uh, it really upsets my stomach, and it doesn't make me feel very good. I haven't been feeling good for like a week and a half because I've been on that medication for quite some time because of the infection in my mouth that keeps reoccurring. Anyway, so uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and activate the cutscene. That's why I haven't been walking forward. So let's activate it. And everyone's just gonna stand here awkwardly silent while Kamari's staring off into the distance with his spear down the stairs in case some Elbed runs into his spear. That's not gonna be a good thing. This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We Elbed, we... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. But now, why do things have to turn out this way? Riku. What are they thinking? Yeah, no one was paying attention to the enemies that were sitting in front of you and beside you. Man, you guys are really up. Orange just standing there just like, eh, I'm cool. Well, everyone's like, oh shit. Anyways, in the last episode, I explained to you guys that you can get Underdog Seeker, which is an extremely valuable weapon if you really want to kick some ass in this game. Uh, because you can use it to customize your weapons and have double overdrive, I believe, or it's double AP, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's double overdrive, I'm not mistaken. You can put double overdrive on your weapons, so whenever you get hit, it multiplies your overdrive by two, so your meter fills up faster, which is fantastic. Also, you can use it to mix with Riku, uh, Riku's overdrive, and it's, it's phenomenal when you use it for Riku's overdrive. Anyways, in the last episode, I explained that I thought, I thought it was the guys that dropped the Basilic Steel weapon that I got for Titus. Uh, those enemies were the ones from Mushroom Rock Road, if I can remember. They're kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, they kind of look like a serpent kind, kind of guy, but anyways, I was wrong. It's actually these enemies, and they're called Chimera. Now, this is the only point in the game where you can bribe an enemy to get the underdog secret. Um, Point, past this point, you only can get it from two other places. You can get it from Rin at the travel agency, who will give it to you because you've learned the full language of Elbed. Or you can get it from a monster later on in the game that you can keep facing, but it's, it's pretty almost impossible to beat. Now, I can't get the ability bribe in the international version due to the fact that there is no level 3 key spheres at this point in the game. Oh, well, there might have been, but I probably screwed up. I'm not sure. Um, and I can't use it for uh, a skill or special sphere because no one else has learned the ability, so uh, I can't get it. Now, if you are playing the non-international US release, you should be able to get bribe right off the bat, and you can bribe these Chimera guys for uh, 1,500 dog secret if you bribe them. I think it's 180,000 gil. Now, if you have the money, I really strongly suggest bribing these guys because... Uh, underdog secret is just amazing and you really you really can't pass up having it so that is that so let's go ahead and beat these guys to a pulp um, he's gonna silence Lulu obviously by the looks of it yep because uh, he is a dick bag <laughs> and I'm gonna be a dick bag right back and uh, let's get Kamari in here because I feel like finishing this battle right away and we're gonna use stone breath and see let's see if this works because last time I tried this uh, everyone was immune to it But that was in the desert so that kind of makes sense um, Oh, yeah, it does work. Wow Really did not expect that to work <laughs> and it's lagging my computer right out with all those particles man. All right, so Let's start heading down to the summoner sanctum, which is just down the stairs here. Hopefully Yuna is all right And why do we keep stopping after this like stairs I don't can we just get to Yuna at this point we can save talking for later you know 
What is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. Right? Quiet. Kimari goes now. <laughs> I love how Kimari's just like, yeah, this is awkward. I'm out. Fuck you guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want any part of this conversation whatsoever. So if you guys don't get this cutscene yet, Titus still doesn't know that Yuna will die if she completes her pilgrimage. Now, everyone knows this in the party, but Titus. So no one wants to really tell him because it's like, it's kind of hard to talk about, I guess. So everyone's just kind of awkwardly walking away. Titus still doesn't get it, but uh, we're about to learn, or rather Titus is about to learn about um, Yuna's fate, essentially. So there are a few items here in this area that I can grab. Uh, one's a level 2 key spear, one's a level 4 key spear. Now the level 4 key spear is rather well hidden. Um, if you change the camera and go like this and then go up the stairs, oh, actually you probably can't see it, but... If you change the camera and go like this, you probably think there's nothing here and you'll probably forget about it. However, if you move over just a bit, there's just the ever so slightly pixels of the the uh, treasure chest showing here. So that is the level four key sphere. Quite well hidden, if you ask me. Way to go, Square, and trying to screw people over. <laughs> and the level two key sphere is hidden over here in plain sight. So uh, without that... I couldn't get some of the abilities that I would want, such as uh, Ultima. I'm actually approaching Ultima for uh, Lulu, and we need a level 4 key spear. So anyways, with those, let's go ahead and head into the Summoner Sanctum, and hopefully Yuna is here. If not, then uh, I, I, I have no idea where she is. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound reassuring. Hey, look at that! We got a flashing square texture at the top there. <laughs> actually, the game hasn't glitched out like that in quite a long time. Man, it's like a massacre in here. What happened here? Dead bodies everywhere. She's not here. Shit. Hello again. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Hey, um, what sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkand, they might defeat Sin. Uni could... But then she... Uni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Uni too, you know? <laughs> the cold art truth has been revealed. And hopefully my computer doesn't crash, because it crashed before here. Please don't crash. Continue the cutscene, please. Was I the only one who didn't know? Tell me why. Why were you hiding it? Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. It was just too hard to say. Like I said, Orange just says nothing, isn't it? Eh. Eh.
Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. You can do it. You can yes. Lulu. How could you? How could you? Isn't she like a sister to you? I thought you were family. Why don't you do something, Waka? Don't you think we tried to stop her? She follows her heart. You know, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, yeah? You know, knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? Oh, this doesn't look good. What the hell is going on? The situation just got from bad to worse. Choice. We all live in fear of sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. together let's beat sin I told her all the things good we could and all along the whole time I didn't know anything Ugh. but Yuna she she just smile and it really got why he decided to beat the shit out of Alifor I I don't know <laughs> uh, maybe out of anger and frustration because they are Aeon, so I'm not sure, and they're the faith, but I don't know. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I literally just saw, like, Valifor riding Ifrit. That'd be amazing. If you could have, like, combo Aeons, that'd be awesome. Square. Square, hook me up, man. I can I can help you with ideas for the next Final Fantasy. Hey, watch. <gasps> Duh. Got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in spirit depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. I remember I said this before, there's there's making people happy and then there's false hope and I don't know, I don't really like Yuna's explanation there. I really don't. I don't know why, but she's like pretending to smile when I'm not happy. I'm like, that's that's not right. Come on. Anyway, we're getting flashbacks here of the awkward the most awkward scene in the whole game. A lot of people hate this scene, but I don't. It's it's kind of cringeworthy a little bit, but if you understand what's happening, it's not bad. To be full of laughter. Game. Game. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. I can't oh. let her die. I'll find her. Now, fun fact, there is actually a treasure chest in this room if you weren't able to see it during the cutscene. Actually, you probably shouldn't be able to see it during the cutscene regardless because of uh, the original game being designed in 4x3 aspect ratio. Now, since I have enabled a 16x9 hack, we were able to see it. 
because uh, we were beyond the borders of 4x3. Anyway, so you pick up that treasure chest, there is 10,000 gil there, and I would recommend picking that up. And there is nothing else in this room, somehow the dead bodies are now gone. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense, because they did the, uh, um, was it the sending? Yes, that's it, it's sending. So I'm glad that my computer didn't freeze, and where the hell are we? What the, what is this? I'm really getting tired of this blur motion effect. It feels like I'm high or something, even though I don't know what being high feels like. But it feels like I'm going to have a seizure or something like this with all this shaking going on. I said, where is she? Answer me! Answer me, damn you! Holy shit, is tight as strong as he, if he's able doing? to pick someone up like that. I, I... I didn't know anything about what a summoner is... is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry! That's it? You're gonna tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Zanakand and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace! No! I'm... I'm not gonna let Yuna die! Ah, words! Show me action! I'm telling you, she won't die! Boy, don't forget those words. Cause if you do... I'm gonna make you regret it. I won't. So you know where she is? Of course not! That's why we're gonna look! Using this airship! Airship? <laughs> I just realized that Titus's eyes went really wide when he said airship. Oh, 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 what? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> man, the tattoo that Sid's got on his head. Oh, man, that would hurt. Now, if you guys haven't realized yet, this is what we were looking for in the very beginning of the game with Riku. They surfaced an ancient airship out of the ocean that was near um, Sin that, that we got teleported to the Sade somehow. This is the thing that was underneath the water and now they fixed it and it's now working and it's pretty badass if you ask me. This is one of my favorite scenes in the game right here actually. It really shows the power of the PlayStation 2. I know I said this before but this, this is amazing. It's awesome. Every time the game goes to black or white screen I'm afraid it's going to freeze. Even brother surprise. <laughs> Man, that is a lot of damage that the Guado did. I also wonder why the Guado have an ability to summon fiends out of nowhere. That's really weird. This part's really sad and weird at the same time. Apparently Sid is walking in place. Don't think you're supposed to see Sid, actually. I think they made him stop there when they created the game. What's going on? There. We're gonna blow up our home. How? With one of the forbidden Makina. <laughs> He's still walking in place. <laughs> that was kind of funny. 
Oh, well, I guess as long as the game runs, I don't care right now. Man, these are like mini nukes. It's crazy. Kick her into overdrive, brother. You're going to need it. Look at that. Look at that. Like, holy shit. That is definitely a nuclear blast. Like, look at that shit. They're even lucky they got out of this. <laughs> All right, Sid is still walking in place. It seems like he's glitched there. Did you find out anything about Yuna? We're looking into it, okay? <sighs> Don't worry, I'm using a sphere of cellophinder. If she's out there, we'll get her. A sphere of cellophinder? It's an ancient machina. I don't know how it works either, so don't ask me, okay? And you still use it? <laughs> I don't even rightly know how this rig flies, either. Oh. Because of the Yemen taboo on Makina, we're running around in the dark here. Ain't it a rush, kiddos? It looks like Sid is on like a Stairmaster. You work them glutes, Sid. <laughs> Now, there's another thing now that we're on the airship, we can actually hire Waka as one of the Besaid Aurochs. Now, if you walk up to o uh, Waka and hit square, Waka is a free agent, he comes at level 3, and you can hire him for one gil per game, which is insane. So, I'm going to hire Waka for as much as I can, 99 games, because Waka is amazing. And he is now a part of my Blitzball team. Now, I'm going to have to do Blitzball at some point in the game. Um, we're going to have to go back to uh, Luca and uh, do the tournaments because I need to get uh, Waka's Overdrive attack reels. You can only get that from winning a tournament in Blitzball. Actually, do I have it? I'm not sure if I do or not, to be quite honest with you. No, I don't. So I have to, I have to do that. I'll probably do that next episode if I'm able to do so. Um, so I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of events to occur in one episode. Holy crap. Um, it looks like Sid is permanently glitched there on the Stairmaster. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys really like this episode, hit the like button. If you guys really like me, hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate that. And if you hit that subscribe button, you guys become part of the Shire and you're in the Brotherhood now. So I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. And my clock just went off. Good time to finish an episode. Yeah. <laughs>